back to Trends and Friends, everyone. I'm here with Lucinda, and she's here to tell us all about the first Hispanic and Latin American gaming symposium. So thank you so much, Lucinda, for being here today to be able to talk about this and everything that it's about. So thank you so much for having me, Skylar, and thank you to your audience for tuning in. I'm really excited for this event. This is the first time we have ever hosted a gaming symposium, and it looks like the turnout has been pretty impressive considering we were initially supposed to be in person, but due to weather and travel conditions, we had to do a last minute switch up to Zoom online, which is why we are meeting like this. And this is exactly what it looks like. You know, we're still able to engage with uh, our panelists, our keynote speakers, different people from across the world, really. Um, we have a wide variety of speakers, um, people from all over the place, um, all over the nation. We have folks. New York, Delaware, um, you know, when we're thinking of the global sense, we have folks from Brazil, Australia, Spain. So we're really tapping into various parts of uh, the country and the world. That's awesome. And the fact that you all are open, opening this up to even say globally, I think that's amazing, especially for us here in Lubbock. And so this is a two day event. And like you said, we have to switch over to Zoom. So what are people who that attended today? What are we looking forward to that happened today? And what's going to happen tomorrow for those that are interested? Oh, gosh. So this morning we had a wonder wonderful panelist, um, a wonderful keynote speaker. So our first presentation was about gaming systems in Brazil. And I do want to mention it's free and open to the public and you can, because it's on Zoom, you can join from pretty much anywhere, even on your phone. And let me ask you, what started the whole Hispanic and Latin American gaming symposium? So when we were looking at this, you know, we need to understand, I, the way I look at it is this kind of happens in uh, a three point process. Okay, so we need to focus on diversity. And as a Hispanic serving institute, you know, with Texas Tech being a Hispanic serving institute, this is incredibly important. So we need to focus on diversity. With diversity comes inclusivity. And with all of that comes representation. And so when looking at someone like myself, you know, I grew up playing video games. I had a Nintendo and that was really my best friend. And so sometimes I wonder, you know, where my career would have taken me with video games had that representation been there. And so now, you know, we have, we're very fortunate here within the college to have, you know, a plethora of folks doing, conducting research on this particular area. And so we just wanna you know, shed some light on a very important topic and let people know that the representation is there and it does matter. So for those who are interested in joining us on Saturday, you can find us on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram. So we are the Thomas J. Harris Institute for Hispanic and International Communication, otherwise known as HIHIC, so H-I-H-I-C. You can also follow the College of Media and Communication here at Texas Tech. And you can just look for this flyer on social media, scan the QR code or click on the link and that will take you to our registration page. Right, and you heard it from Lucinda herself. It is virtually, so you can join from anywhere that you are, no matter what you're doing or who you're with. Join with a friend. I mean, this is an awesome opportunity and don't go anywhere just yet. We'll be back with more Trends and Friends.